For decades, the U.S. controlled the world's most vital resource, the semiconductor chip. These chips power everything, phones, cars, even military tech. The U.S. built a fortress of sanctions to block China from accessing advanced chip technology, believing it could halt China's rise. But while America guarded the front door, China found a back door, one that was legal, open, and unstoppable. This wasn't espionage. It was a global movement hiding in plain sight, threatening to make America's tech blockade irrelevant. The shock came in 2025, not from a government lab but from Alibaba. They unveiled a chip as advanced as anything in the West, built entirely outside U.S. control. Suddenly, America's strategy looked like a leaky fence and the global tech order was about to flip. The key to China's breakthrough? RICV. Imagine chip blueprints that anyone can use, no permission, no royalties, no bans. For years chip designs were locked up by companies like Intel and ARM. If you wanted in, you paid and played by their rules. RICV changed everything. It's open source, free for anyone to use or modify. Developed at UC Berkeley, now run by a Swiss nonprofit, RISCV is beyond the reach of US export controls. There's no intellectual property to sanction, no company to pressure. While the US tried to block access, China, and anyone else, could just download the instructions and build. This isn't a loophole, it's a revolution in how technology is shared. Now, any country or company can design custom chips, no permission needed, the game has changed and the US can't close this door. RISC-CV's potential became reality in 2025 when Alibaba launched its C930 server chip. This wasn't a basic processor, it was a 5 nanometer high performance chip, rivaling the best from Apple or TSMC. Designed and built by Chinese engineers, it sidestepped every US sanction. China proved it could make world-class chips for AI and cloud computing, without American tech. The C930 didn't just break the rules, it rewrote them. Around the same time, a fragile US-China truce lifted some restrictions, but the damage was done. China had already shown it could innovate around the blockade. With access to Western design tools restored and RISC-CV in hand, China's path was clear. The C930 wasn't just a chip, it was the starting gun for a new era. The message China wasn't catching up, it was forging its own path. This isn't just a US-China story. Risky v is sparking a global movement for tech independence. For years, countries relied on American chips for everything, industry, infrastructure, economies. Now nations like Germany are using risk v to secure their supply chains. Brazil and India are building local tech industries from scratch, no longer just customers of foreign giants. Even US companies like Meta are adopting risk v for AI. The EU is investing billions to develop its own risk v based supercomputers. The goal strategic autonomy and security. The more countries join, the stronger the risk v ecosystem grows. The world is no longer just shopping at America's tech store, they're building their own. The age of dependency is ending. What does this mean for you? This chip revolution will reshape our digital lives. Huawei, once crippled by sanctions, now builds its devices on risk v creating a real alternative to Apple and Google. The old world of patents and gatekeepers is fading. Open collaboration is the new norm. Technology is fragmenting. American and Chinese spheres may soon run on different apps, devices and standards. The power to innovate is being democratized. Engineers in Sao Paulo or Bangalore now have the same tools as Silicon Valley. The US tried to control the future but Raya C5 proved you can't fence in an idea. Open source hardware is out of the bottle and it's not going back. We're moving from a world dominated by one tech superpower to many centers of innovation. The rules are being rewritten by everyone. The question now, who will shape this new open and unpredictable digital future?